Imagine stepping into the world of interior Chinatown, where reality blends seamlessly with Hollywood dreams, and identity is as fluid as the roles you play. That's the experience Hulu is about to offer us with this adaptation of Charles Yu's celebrated novel, launching on November 19th, 2024. Now, if you've never heard of Interior Chinatown, let me paint you a picture of this unique, layered narrative that's about to take us deep into the life of Willis Wu, a character played by the brilliant Jimmy O. Yang, this isn't just any story, it's an examination of what it means to be typecast, overlooked, and yet still yearning for a place in the spotlight not just in Hollywood, but in life. Willis Wu is stuck, like so many of us might feel at some point, in what he perceives as a monotonous role his place in the world confined to being generic Asian man in a fictional police procedural called Black White. He waits tables in Chinatown, literally positioned in the background of a television show, dreaming of one day becoming Kung Fu Guy. Yes, you heard that right, Kung Fu Guy, a role that's somehow both more significant and yet another stereotype. It's here that the story strikes its first chord and insight into the relentless pursuit of a dream, even when that dream is limited by stereotypes, by society's limited vision of who you can be. Willis's struggle is raw and real, as he strives to break free of this invisible script that dictates his life. The brilliance of interior Chinatown lies not just in the story but in how it's told. Charles Yu, who actually helped adapt his own novel for this series, plays with the structure, layering real life and fiction in ways that blur the lines between the two. As viewers, we are drawn into Willis's world, a place where reality and television tropes collide, creating a space to question the larger role society imposes on us. What does it mean to be cast as a certain type your entire life? How often do we find ourselves playing parts that were never ours to begin with, simply because that's how others see us? And here's where it gets even more interesting. Willis, in his mundane role, becomes an unexpected witness to a crime and act that pulls him into a narrative larger than himself, thrusting him out of his background actor status and deeper into his own story. Through this shift, we get a glimpse of the complexities and secrets hidden within Chinatown itself, and by extension his family's past. This revelation of family history and self is what turns interior Chinatown from a straightforward commentary into something far more nuanced and engaging. Now, let's talk about the team behind this show, because the lineup is stellar. We have Taika Waititi, known for his signature humor and depth, directing the pilot. Waititi's involvement brings a particular style, his ability to balance comedy with gravity will likely add a unique layer to this already rich story. Alongside Jimmy O, Yang, who brings both charisma and an everyman's relatability to Willis, there's an incredible supporting cast that includes Chloe Bennett, Ronnie Cheung, Lisa Gilroy, and the talented Si Ma, each of them adds something distinct, helping to flesh out the multifaceted world of Chinatown with the charm, humor, and authenticity that this story demands. And yet, beneath all the humor and meta-references, Interior Chinatown addresses some serious questions. It's not just about breaking out of typecasting but confronting the idea of identity itself. How much of who we are is shaped by the roles we are given versus the roles we choose? And how often do we find ourselves boxed into roles we didn't choose simply because they're familiar, easy, or expected? Willis Wu's journey isn't just about becoming Kung Fu Guy. It's about breaking free from these confines and reclaiming his own narrative, a quest that resonates with anyone who's ever felt misrepresented, misunderstood, or confined by labels. For fans of the novel, this adaptation promises to retain all that sharp wit and introspection that made Charles Yu's work stand out. But even for newcomers, this is a story that will speak to you in ways you might not expect. It's humorous, yes, but it's also a meditation on what it means to be visible, to be seen beyond the surface roles. It's about the lives and histories of people who've often been pushed to the background but who have rich, full, complex stories of their own, just waiting to be told. So mark your calendar for November 19th. This isn't just another series, it's a narrative experience that asks us to rethink how we view others and ourselves. As the release date draws closer, keep your eyes open for more tidbits, maybe a few behind-the-scenes peeks, and definitely stay tuned for the full immersion into Willis Wu's world. And remember, if you're ready to go beyond the usual, to explore themes that challenge and entertain, this is the story to watch. For more details, check the description or hit me up in the comments.